Hello everybody, my name is Gerben Kamp and I'm an instructor at Juniper Networks Educational Services. Welcome to this learning byte about the Show TCP command. In this learning byte it is all about wireless LAN controller connectivity troubleshooting. We will first have a look at some commonly used TCP and UDP ports within the Juniper WLAN solution, followed by a brief explanation of the Show TCP command, and now we'll do a little demonstration. In this list you see TCP and UDP ports used by the Juniper WLAN solution. It includes uh, some commonly used uh, TCP and UDP ports, but also some proprietary ones. As this learning byte is about the show TCP command, we will focus on the TCP ports here. So we see 22 and 23, which are the common ports for SSH and Telnet. We see 443, which is used by the web-based interface of the wireless LAN controller, called WebView. And then we see two proprietary ports, 8821, as used for communication between controllers within a mobility domain or a network domain. And last but not least, the 8889 port, which is the default configured port for communication from Ringmaster towards the wireless LAN controller. However, this port can be configured as you like, and in the example I will show you that it is configured for 8890 and 8891. For the show TCP command there are a few interesting things to mention. First of all, it's a simple command, it's just show TCP, there is no other variations or keywords possible. It is an easy way to list the services that are configured. Uh, it lists all the ports on which the wireless LAN controller is listening. The services that are not configured will not be listed with their ports. Um, it also includes some commonly used proxy ports. However, there is uh, one slight disadvantage due to this. As it is listening on these ports all the time, it is a little bit difficult to tell whether HTTPS services are enabled, yes or no. You just have to verify the configuration for that purpose. It also shows currently established TCP connections, and this includes session details. Now let's have a look at a controller. Here we have our first controller that I'm connected to. I just do show TCP, and it will give you all the information it reveals right away. Here you will see that it is listening on ports 80443, but also some commonly used uh, proxy ports like uh, 3128, 8080 and so on. And you will see that it is listening on port 8890 for communication with Ringmaster. That is how it is configured in that way. Uh, the default as said is 8889. It is also listening on 22 for SSH and you see that it is listening on 8821 for communication with another controller within the mobility domain. Then you will see that there is actually currently two SSH sessions to this controller. One of those is being used by me. The other uh, open connection is local port 4109, but the remote port is 8821. So that is a mobility domain communication that is going on. Now let's go to the other controller. If I do show TCP here, and also give here all the information right away, you see that this controller is listening at 23, so this one does have Telnet enabled, while the other one didn't. It is listening at 8891 for communication with Ringmaster. It is also listening on 22 for SSH, and again 8821 for communication within a mobility domain. Now also here two SSH sessions, as you can see. But the interesting one is here, the local port is 8821, and the remote port is 4109, so this is the opposite connection of what we have seen on the other controller as the mobility domain uh, communication. So a nice overview of all the ports that are listened to and active TCP sessions. Thank you for joining me on this learning byte. I hope uh, you found it useful and would like to see you on the next one. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, 
and e-learning courses, learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths, Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.